What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Wo Chen Regulation D team that also features Roaring Moon and Life Orb Thunderous. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team actually features some very cool Pokemon. You got the Pelipper, you got the Basket Legion, you also have Choice Specs Fluttermane. So this team, I would consider more of an off-meta team than a meta team. But our first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be that Wochen, who has really seen a dip in usage ever since Regulation D came out. It has Tablets of Ruin, the Leftovers as item, Rocking Foul Play, Giga Drain, and Leech Seed for HP recovery. And last but not least, we got Protect. In our second slot, we're rocking out with Pelipper. Pelipper is one of the best rain setters in the game. With Drizzle and the Focus Ash, Tailwind for Speed Control, Wide Guard to protect ally Pokemon from double hitting moves, Hurricane and Protect. In our third slot, we got Pelipper's best friend on today's team. It's going to be Bashy Legion with Swift Swim and the Assault Best as item. It's got Wave Crash, Last Respects, Aqua Jet, and it's also rocking Psychic Fangs to break through screens and have that Psychic coverage on the team as well. In our fourth slot, we got Fluttermane. Choice spec Fluttermane, I should say, this Pokemon hits like an absolute truck and is great in many different situations. It's got Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, and Icy Wind for speed control. In our fifth slot, we got Roar Moon. This Pokemon hits like a truck. It's holding the booster energy, it's got Protosynthesis, has Tailwind for speed control, Breaking Swipe for stab and lowering attack, and then it's got Acrobatics with the Flying Terror type, which we all know can do some crazy damage with this Pokemon. In our final slot, we're rocking out with Thunderous, and Thunderous is very, very strong on its own, but also when it's paired up with Rain, it hits like an absolute truck, considering Wild Bolt Storm hits 100% of the time. This one has Volt Absorb as its ability with the Life Orb as item, then its other three moves is Sludge Bomb for coverage, Volt Switch to pivot out, and then we got Protect for our fourth and final move. Guys, you want to make the scene for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that Regulation D ladder, let's grab some wins with this Wo Chen, War Moon, and Life Orb Thunderous Regulation D team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against a pretty heavy Trick Room team in match number one. They got the Indeedee, they got the Armors, they're also rocking out with Torkoal for weather control, which I wouldn't be surprised to see them bring, and then they also have Amoongus, and then Fluttermane and Urshfu for the more of the non-Trick Room side. But uh, how should I play this one? How, who should I go into? They got Indeedee, they got Armors, which isn't bad. Probably going to lead that, right? They also have Torkoal, which we got to watch out for, but I'm thinking of maybe going into Wo Chen. I'm thinking he's gonna lower that special attack or uh, physical attack I should say and they only have one physical attacker So maybe I won't do that Maybe I won't do that considering they have Armouge and Torkoal not really a big fan of that Not really a big fan of that. So from here Maybe Roaring Moon could be a solid little play Not too bad, especially because he is dark type. That is wonderful so I'm gonna rock out with the Roaring Moon and from hmm, Flutter me I could go with you I'm gonna go Fluttermane. I'm gonna go Fluttermane and I'm gonna bring the Rain Squad in the back end. Considering if we get Rain going and have that control, it's gonna be really, really powerful for us. So, cool with that. I am cool with that. Yeah, let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. The Trick Room's gonna be the problem. It's gonna be the main culprit here. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go in DD armors. We just need to figure out ways to kind of go around it. I mean, I could Terra, I could Acrobatics. That's not too bad, but I kind of want to keep my Dark Typing. Dark Typing is gonna be your best friend. Especially up against e uh, Expanded Force. Everybody knows it's a huge threat. It's a huge threat. We have no terrain control either on this team, which is a little tough. It's a little tough. I'm not going not gonna to lie. <laughs> it's just a little bit tough. We'll see who they want to lead. Hopefully it's not NDD owners, but chance are it is, right? DD Fluttermane. Okay, so they could both set Trick Room. They both rock out with Trick Room, and I kind of like where we're at. I don't mind it. Mm, it's okay. I mean, Dazzle Gleam is probably more so our play. And I might just terrestrialize into flying. Yeah, we got Terra into flying here. So I'll turn into flying. I will go for the acrobatics. And from here, we gotta go Dazzle Gleam. The reason I say we go Dazzle Gleam is because if the following me comes out here, and if we go for Shadow Ball, it's just it's just GG's, right? He's gonna dodge it and then we're just gonna whip him in the and give him a free turn. But let's terrestrialize just in case Fluttermate is gonna end up attacking here. I don't see it attacking, I see it popping Trick Room. But I have to Terrasalize. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some big time damage still. So I'll Terrasalize the Roar Moon here. Follow Me does end up coming out here. And he's gonna follow me, Trick Room. Yeah, I, di I didn't have to Terrasalize, but for the damage purpose, I wanna get off some monster damage, so. 
There we go. Big time half. Half an HP. Rocky. I'm like, oh, that's ugly. And you're going for Daz Gleam. Okay, so good thing I did Terra. Good thing I did Terra. So they end up living on one HP, which is so ugly. That is so ugly that you just live on one HP. Um, what do I do from here? Living on one HP. That is, ugh. That's really hurtful. You just lived on one HP. Oh my lord, that, that really that really hurts the soul. I think I'm gonna have to end up protecting War Moon here. Oh my lord, that's ugly. I'm gonna protect War Moon. I'm gonna go for the green here. Let's see how this one plays out here. That really hurts. One HP on the medium choice spec too. The follow me ends up coming out here. He ends up going for 8 Daz and Gleam. I block it and my Flutter Moon definitely dies to that. It's just so tough. And the reason I want to protect War Moon is because I want to bring out Pelop. I want to try to force Sun to come out here so I can swap back out my Pelipper. I'm going to go Pelipper here. Get the rain cooking. I could wide guard. I could definitely wide guard here. Dodge the Daz and Gleam and get some more turns out here. Which would be lovely. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Acrobatics. Into that slot, wide guard, that's it, if it's coming across the board. We'll go from there. We'll go from there. But yo, one HP in DD, making me play this one so differently than I would. With that indeed DD dies out there, we're sitting real pretty. We can get thriving. Let's we'll see what they want to do from here. But I think it's going to be Daz and Gleam, probably hard swap, right? No, no hard swap, but we get off the wide guard. Follow me. So follow me into Daz and Gleam. That would be totally fine by me. I could see that thing being choice spec too. That thing's hitting hard. Jackerback's gonna cook. We are gonna take a little bit of Rocky Helmet damage. I can pop another wide guard if need be. But there's no doubt in my mind that thing's going for Dazzle Gleam, right? I'd be so upset if it's going for Moonblast. Cool, Dazzle Gleam comes out here. They pick up the big time double block, and I'm kind of thinking this thing could potentially be choice spec. It could be. Unless did it pop booster energy? I don't. I don't even remember. All honesty. In all honesty, I, I don't. I don't even remember. Let me see. Let me see my flutter main speed. Cause if my flutter mains max out on speed, then this thing pop booster energy in the speed. I gotta see. That's something I got. I gotta be better at paying attention to items, especially like pre game, just so I know what they have. I wish there was a way besides that to just like tell, like maybe an info. Actually, I think there is. I think if they use their item, it says their item. Let me check. Let me check the info. Let's say throw out a Pokemon. So let's see who comes out here. It could potentially be Torkoal, right? That's no, gonna be a Moongus. Maybe they didn't bring Torkoal. Maybe they just didn't bring Torkoal. But I think I could just click here and no, it doesn't say their item. Hmm. So I know I have the fastest Pokemon on the field. I am going to go for an Acrobatics and team. And from here, I'm going to try to just pop a Hurricane here. Or do I try to pop a Tailwind? I'm going to go for a Hurricane in this slot. We'll see. Ends up withdrawing from Water Main. Are you going into Torkoal here? It's got to be Torkoal. It has got to be Torkoal. Maybe Urshifu. And that is... That's a little odd. Unless you're going for Rage Powder here. Swapping into Urshifu with... Flying type of on the field. So Water Terror comes out here. Are you going for Rage Powder? You, I feel like you have to be going for Rage Powder. But at this point, it would just be a free turn for us. So let's see. No. No Rage Powder. It's looking probably to put somebody to sleep. So we can just get rid of Urshu, which is massive. Oh, he lives on one. Are you sashed? What is up with these 1 HP survivals? This is rough. Give me ducks. Thank you. Thank you, game. Two Pokemon living on a free Pokemon Sash. Can you hit yourself with Confusion? Help me out a little bit here. Of course not. So they get off a lovely little spore. I am focused, Ash, so I do want to go after the Urshifu. How many turns are left in rain? Three. Okay, that's that's cool. I mean, I'm going to go Breaking Swipe, actually. I mean, we're dead here. 
There's no doubt about that. We're dead here. And I'm just going to hurricane in this slot. Oh my lord. One HP? Come on now. Come on now. Yo, that's two Pokemon on one HP. Making this match so rough for me. Honestly, if one of these Pokemon went down and didn't survive on one HP, we'd be sitting in the fast lane winning this match, no problem. But this is the stuff I gotta deal with. But I still got Fluttermane in the back end. We still have Basket Legion, which is great, especially with the returns left in lane. And I think. And I think Roar Moon potentially goes out here. If I get two turns in with rain, that'd be beautiful. Third Strikes is gonna come in this slot. So we are gonna be able to get rid of Urshk. That is insanely massive. I mean, immensely massive. And are you put my Pelper to sleep? Don't be that person. You're gonna be that person. You're that person. Actually, hopefully the ducks pay you back. Hopefully the ducks give you a little bit of payback here. Come on, ducks. I need you here, ducks. They're getting some RNG. Can we get some RNG? Come on, ducks. Come on, ducks. Ducks, dude. The ducks are terrible right now. So the double spore comes out here. Back to back plays. Um, what's my play here now? That's a real question. That is the true question. Is what's my play here? Do I just protect or do I go after Fluttermane? Because they know I'm faster than him. I could go for last respects into this thing. Thing is, if Fluttermane protects, but I think it might be choice. I really do, considering how fast it or uh, how much damage that was doing. And it was stuck in the Dazzle Gleam and, and it's a reason to swap, so. I'm gonna go for Hurricane. I'm gonna go for last respects here. Of course, this thing snaps out of confusion. It gets a nice, lovely rage powder. Here. Rage powder gets cooking. Last respects coming in hot here. It does not pick up the KO. These Pokemon surviving on like three HP is absurd. It is absurd. Thunderbolt now comes out here. Can we soak that? It's definitely choice. We're able to eat that one up. That's a big time eat up. The Pelper. Hmm. Oh, no, this is ugly. This is real ugly. So, from here, we want to go for another last respects. Force him to go into a rage powder. And we'll try to drop another hurricane. Let's see. He's choice in the Thunderbolt. I do have Focus Ash, which could be a massive, massive little thing here. Those last respects can come out here. Pelper, can you wake up? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Get a little bit of wake up action here. A little bit of wake up action here. Thunderbolt coming in hot here. It is going to take out my Basket Legion. Can you wake up, Pelt? A little bit of wake up here. Last turn in rain. I would love for you to land a hurricane. Pelper. Pelper. So we don't have rain. So now we need a lot to happen. So we are Sash. Thunderbolt is going to put us to Sash, no problem. We are four times a week to that. The second thing is we need to wake up. And then the third thing is we need to land Hurricane, which is only 70 accuracy. And then the fourth thing is we got to hope it came. So we got a lot cooking. We got a lot riding on the line. So Thunderbolt comes out here. Our Sash is true. We're here. We got the Focus Sash. They get free Focus Sashes. And you get a crit too. Get on out of here, man. Come on, Palper. Wake up. No three turn sleeps. Bro, come on with this, yo. This match, I totally lost some RNG. That is wild. That is wild. I'm going to run this battle. Actually, nah, we'll stay in. We'll stay in. You never know. You never know. But come on, man. That hurts his soul. That hurts his soul. Two Pokemon living on one HP. Actually, basically three. Basically three, because I'll count Amoongus. And then Amoongus not losing a turn to Ducks. Me getting three turns sleep. Everything just not working out in our favor. Second match is here, and we lost that one, which was a heartbreaker. Let's try to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. Going up against Rillaboom, and then a Chiyu and Fluttermane combo. They also have Landers. They got Storm Drake Gastron, which kind of have to worry about, right? We got our water Pokemon, but I do have Wo Chen, who I can bring and actually get some work done with that. And then they also have Thunderous. We're well, not Thunderous, Tornadus. So who should I put? How should I play this one? I do have you. I can just set the rain. I also have Psychic Fangs. I have Last Respects, which I kind of like. I am scared of the Gashon though. I really am. So from here, I could actually just go maybe like rain with you. Because you do have Sludge Bomb, which would be pretty well here. But then the Lech moves also do not hit that Gashon, so I kind of don't like you. I definitely like Wochen here. Wochen's going to be great. 
Do I want to lead Wo Chen though? Potentially set up some. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna potentially set up some things. I'm gonna go Wo Chen. I'm also gonna go in with Flutter Moon because I feel as Flutter Moon could be good. Or I could go more so with Flutter Moon. Considering if they're gonna fake me out, I could dodge fake out. So I do like Flutter Moon here. Then in back end, I'm gonna go Roar Moon, and I think I'm just gonna go. Hmm. I think I might just go in squad instead of Roar Moon. Nah, I like Roar Moon, but you know, I'm just gonna go Pelper by himself. I like Pelper by himself. And the reason I like Pelper by himself is because he can set the rain and then hit Hurricane 100% of the time. That's pretty big, especially with the Focus Ash. Get some work done. Then he can set up Tailwind. We get some Speed Control. I like him better alone than Masculine Legion alone, to be honest. So we'll see who they want to end up leading. Fluttermane Chi is definitely an option. Will Boom's an option. They should go Lando. Which I don't mind Lando. They do not mind Lando. But Timonate's going to come out here. That's fine. We got two special attackers on the field. And Tablets and Ruin come out here. Which is pretty big for us. Look at the Tablets going. Um, going to just Giga Drain trying to get some HP back. So Giga Drain and... Probably just Dazzle Gleam. Best bet. Just with the choice. Could throw Aslan and go straight Barry. I mean, it's not bad. Especially for damage purposes. Yeah, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. For damage purposes, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. My head's itching. That's why you guys see me poking. I'm trying to like, itch, but it's like under my headset. <laughs> it's just a pain. <laughs> it's just such a pain. But I'm a Terra Fair here. I'm going to look to pick up some, not KOs, but just pick up some damage here. KOs would be awesome. And with Tablets Ruin out on the field, it's dropping physical attack, so I don't see them doing like some crazy damage to me. He's just gonna U-turn out into me, and wow, that is some crazy damage. We simply do not like that. That is some big-time damage. So I'm gonna Giga Drain this slot, whoever they bring out here, and I would love it to be Gashon, but I highly doubt it's Gashon. That would be wild if it is. They Tailwind into this Pokemon. Oh my god, it is Gashon. It is Gashon, so we're gonna get back a huge chunk of HP, which is beautiful, because we're gonna finish off Gashon as well. Oh my lord, I love it. So now I get rid of you. A terrible swap into Gashon with with Grass Woe Chen on the field? Stupid. That was stupid. Very, very stupid. So I get back some leftovers in HP. I'm thinking of just protecting Woe Chen this turn. The reason being is because he could just uh, go into his little wind move. I forget what it's called. Why, why can't I think of Bleak Wind Storm? Kind of go from there. Fluttermate's also going to come out here. That's a little scary Pokemon right there. That is definitely scary. That is definitely scary. So I'm definitely thinking just protecting you. I'm trying to get off a nice little dashing beam. We'll see how this one plays. Wow, Basket Legion would have been awesome now. If I would have known that I could get rid of Gastron just like that, come on, man. Basket Legion would have been play. But I still have a nice little booster energy in the back end with my Salamence. But the only issue with that is we can't throw slides. They're gonna come out here to rash slides, probably Flutter Man looking to get off some crazy damage. Fairy type, yeah, straight fairy type. We're hoping they miss the Bleak Wind Storm. I think a Bleak Wind Storm and whatever fairy move they want to go into is gonna KO my Flutter Man. We'll see. Protect comes out from the Wood Shine. And the Bleak Wind Storm's gonna come out here. Come on, Flutter Man, dodge the Bleak Wind Storm. Big time dodge. Big time dodge for me. Big time dodge. Oh, yes! Oh, yes. Now all we gotta do is eat up this Moon Blast. Which actually seems kind of tough. Eat it up. I love you, Flutterman. Get a special attack. Of course you get a special attack shot. Not her soul, but still. We get rid of this Pokemon right here. It's pretty massive. We get rid of you. Um, double death here. How many turns are left in Tamlin? If it's two, that's not bad. Because I can double attack next turn. Let's see, so they, you know, they're forced to bring out Lando. They are forced to bring out Lando. Is it two turns left in tail one? It is. Okay, so I can double protect next turn. Uh, from here, I would love to just, I guess, Giga Drink, try to get back some HP. And I have a choice to do name, so I am going to throw it. Rock Slides can come out here. Rock Slides is definitely scary, and that's going to be Okay, so double protect definitely our play. By far our play.
And the thing is, I could I could just wide guard. I could just make a hard read and wide guard, to be honest. And instead of protecting, actually get off some turns here. That might be my best bet. That might be my best bet. That might be my best bet. To just wide guard this turn. And then acrobatics flutter me. Yeah, I'm all about it. Wide guard into acrobatics. Let's do it. I'm predicting rock slide and dazzling beam, which will be massive. So Pelipper with the wide guard could come in clutch here. Let's see what they end up doing. Rock slide coming in here. Show me dazzling gleam. Show me dazzling gleam. Show me dazzling gleam. Show me the dazzle gleam. Show it to me, baby. Show it to me. Come on, man. Yo, big time wide guard. Big time wide guard play. Big time wide guard play. So now, now I get to do this. Now I get to get off an acrobatics. Probably not gonna KO. Yo, these one HP Pokemon today. These one HP Pokemon today. So now I wanna go Hurricane, and I just simply wanna protect you. What could set up the tailwind? I think I'm just gonna. Mm, yeah, I think I'm just gonna protect and just get rid of Flutterman instead of setting up a Tailwind. Actually, I think Roar and Moon out speeds anyway. Which would be massive. There's a Rock Slide. No way you're going for Rock Slide Dazzle Gleam again. There's just no way. I mean, we're soaking pretty well. He's going for Moon Blast. Woo, baby. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. What? I flinch. Are you War Moon? Are you faster than Fluttermane here? You should be. You should be. That hurts, man. I flinch. Absurd. That is absurd. That is absurd. Good thing you're faster. Now. Okay, cool. You flinch, really. I probably should just went to Acrobatics last turn. But you flinch. Everything was working out beautiful there. The Hurricane's gonna slide over. We know Palper can eat up another rock slide, which is just gorgeous. It's lovely. We're hoping not another flinch comes out here. You're not allowed to flinch me. Cool. Hurricane's landing. But I would have said RNG doing me so rough. And now from here, we'll go another Hurricane. We will go another Acrobatics. We should be able to win this game. No problem. Unless they get a crit. One HP. Yo. Stop. No crits here. Chill. This is just absurd. This is just blatantly absurd with the one HP survivals here. So absurd. So absurd, but out comes Acrobatics. We're gonna win this match after all the adversity we've been facing. Another one HP survival. We'll take that victory all day. One and one, let's go hop into a third and final. Grab you guys a winning record. Final match is coming at you guys. We're one and one, should be two and oh. Let's grab ourselves a winning record here. Going up against a Suini Gujra team, which is always a big time threat with Landers. Also with Amoongus, Grimstarl for screens, which I do have Psychic Fangs on the fish. The fish. Awesome. Dope. Cool. They also have Golden Go, and then they got my boy Urshifu. So I'm going to go into straight Rain Squad. Just seems like a great little play for us. Landers, a little scary, but I highly doubt they lead it, right? I think it's going to be Grimstrong and maybe Gudra. At that point, we just... Mm, I don't know how to feel about that. Gudra's a little bit of a problem. I'm going to bring the little Electric Thunders boy out here, and then final slot, do I go Roy Moon or Fluttermane? Kind of like the Fluttermane, especially with the choice specs. Can do some big time damage. I'm all bad. I am scared of the Gudra. Gudra is always a problem. It always is a problem. But we'll deal with that when the time comes. Hopefully the time doesn't come. Hopefully they just don't bring it. But chance are they're going to bring that thing. He's going to get cooking. I don't have any Pokemon to really taunt up. Or like haze out. So let nothing get defense boost. Kind of scary, but we have a few good special attackers in the back end. Kind of... Kind of get some work done. We'll do it. So we'll see if they want to lead. But chances are it's Soul Vest too. And it has a, a naturally good special attack. But Gujra's going to come out here alongside with Grimstar. Remy Grim's going to come out here. And we know Screen's going to get set up. And that is just a problem. And it's, oh, dude, it's just so tough. I'm just gonna keep breaking screens, and honestly, I'm just gonna go for hurricanes. Oh, 
dude seems such a problem. <laughs> it's just such a problem. So Reflect comes out here. I'm just gonna break that screen right off the rip. Do about five damage. Get off some damage onto Grim Snarl. We'll go from there. Ducks. Thunderbolt. Oh, of course this thing's rocket thunderbolt. Of course, who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it? So how he how he sets up screens. Actually, I mean we'll suck your fangs again just in case he wants to set up another screen. But like of course this thing gets thunderbolt too. <coughs> so he ends up party shotting. Smart play by him. And I was gonna swap the Basque Legion. But I wonder if we could just go for another Thunderbolt. I'm curious to see this. So let's see what Pokemon they go into. We're going into a Hurricane in the slot. And I'd be kind of kind of upset if they go into... Okay, Amoongus is fine. That's fine. Get off a Hurricane into Amoongus. We love it. Psychic Fangs can go over here. And actually, Psychic Fangs can still do a nice chunk of damage onto Amoongus. The Hurricane's going to fly here. Bop. This thing's surviving on low HP again. We get a crit. <laughs> this is just absurd. We get ducks. Okay, cool. The Thunderbolt's gonna fly over there. We are sashed. And I'm, I'm, I'm fine with this. As long as Kudra's not like setting up here, right? So I'm sashed here. I am going to swap into Thunderous right now. I'm just gonna go into a Hurricane in the slot. I finish off with Moogus because Moogus is always a problem. I'm gonna swap out the Basket Legion. It is minus one. Also, on top of that, we can reset its, uh... Oh, we're not even choice. Why do I think we were choice? I don't know why I think we thought we were choice. But I get back out of this Pokemon here. I'm sure I'll just come out here. That's fine. I get off some Wobble Storms, all that good stuff. Hurricane's also gonna pop in the Grimstraw. It's lovely. Can we get some more ducks? Rubber ducky, you're the one. Come on, baby. Rubber duckies, baby. All day. Give me the ducks. Give me the ducks. We're just gonna pop a Muddy Water. That's a little scary. I'm gonna lie. That's gonna kill my Pelper. So now I am going to uh, bring back Outbask Legion. Yeah, I mean I'm gonna bring up Basket Legion. See what he see what he wants to do here. I just start attacking, right? We'll go sludge bomb, but Wobbled Storm's gonna be my play. I'm gonna wobble storm and I'm gonna go last respects into the slot. You want to pop your little screens, you can do it. That's fine. But I'm attacking at this point. Coming I mean, if your last spec's going to get a nice little boost, we are down with only one Pokemon. But Wobbolt Storm is just coming after these guys now. Wobbolt Storm will probably can't come start unless he sets up a late screen here. Which I highly doubt. I highly doubt, right? We'll see. So they have a Moongus probably at about half HP. It is going to get some uh, regenerated HP. Can you hurt yourself in Confusion? It does. We love it. We love it. So the duck's finally getting some work done for us. Last respects are coming out of here. It's gonna do some nice damage. Just some nice damage. Some wobble storms also coming out of here. Pick up a KO on the Gudra. So Gudra just did not take the opportunity to set up. It had many opportunities to set up some nice little defense boosts, all that good stuff. And he could have been he could have been thriving, to be honest with you. Thunderbolt's now gonna fly. It is going to not finish off Basket Legion. Get some lovely turns out here. Some beautiful turns. Some beautiful turns. So I know both my Pokemon outspeed the Gudra. Urshfu's over here, potentially going for first turn priority. Uh, but we do have Wild Bolt Storm coming in here, and that is actually Dark Urshfu. I'm gonna go here, and I'm also gonna go for a Jet. So actually, Aqua Jet will come out before Sucker Punch if it is if it is going for Sucker Punch. I feel like our opponent had plenty of times to set up and probably have an upper hand on us in this battle. Black Jet now flies, bang, doing a little bit of damage. The Sucker Punch is coming in that slot, so good thing I did go for Aqua Jet. Now Wobble and Storm's coming here, kind of finish off the Gudra. It does, it almost finish off the Urshfu. Aqua Jet can finish off the Urshfu, and now we're just sitting so bad. His last Pokemon is going to be Amoongus. And I'm not too worried about that Pokemon. I have Flutter Main Choice Spec in the back end. And that's pretty much wrap, yo. We're going to go 2-1. Beautiful. I mean, actually, Rage Paddock from out here. Are you really gonna rage powder me though? Are you really gonna rage powder me? That's the real question. I doubt he goes for another sucker punch. I'm gonna go for this. There's rage powder. So rage powder coming in hot here. 
Sucker Punch coming in that slot. That's fine. I think I think choice or not choice. Switch the uh, Psychic Fangs to finish off this Amoongus. And we'll spring out, uh, we'll spring out Fluttermane. That's game set match. You go for Sucker Punch all you want. I know Fluttermane's gonna be able to eat that up. And did you die that Rocky Helmet? Tell me you didn't die that Rocky Helmet. Please, thank you. Cool. Oh, you did. Oh, no. What I mean, you can eat up. Did they terrasalize yet? That's the real problem. Did you terrasalize yet? I don't remember. Did you terrasalize yet? I didn't terrasalize yet, so actually that works out even better. But I kind of want to see if they did. They did not, so I didn't want to be dark type and just going into me, right? So now I can terrasalize fairy and finish this one off. Good thing I, I didn't terrasalize yet. I was scared of them terrasalizing the dark and just ripping a sucker punch, right? That would have been terrifying. Would have been real bad. But luckily, I have my terror to neutralize some of that damage. And we'll be thriving from here. Beautiful. That, that could have been bad. Yeah, see, they're terrasalizing too. Yo, thank the lord I didn't pop my terror. This has got to be dark, right? Yeah. Yeah, and this sucker punch had a high chance of KOing me. Urshu hits like a god dang truck. Absolute cannon he hits like. And he's probably choice banned too. Yeah, that would have KO'd me all day long. That was not very effective and we survived on 55 HP. Wow. The big time terror coming out from us. We end up winning this match. We go 2-1 for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, your boy staying hot on the rank ladder. Another 2-1 winning record for today's video, showcasing every single Pokemon on this team. Got Woe Chen out there in a couple of battles, Thunderous in the final battle, War Moon, Bash Cleech, Pelipper, and Fluttermane using a couple of battles. Rocked out very, very strong and only lost one battle, and I would say it was due to RNG, so that would kind of hurt. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.